Hey there, are you guys planning a summer road trip? I thought I would hop on here. I'm Catherine from happywithbaby.com and I thought I would hop on here because we are recently on vacation and we did a little road trip <laughs> and I thought I would, there's some things that I think can make road trips a little bit easier with kids and some that don't. Um, and so I thought I'd put together a few little tips here and share them with you. So don't mind my vacation hair and makeup <laughs> but so and if you guys have any great ideas I would love for you to share below too um, so I think one of the key things is that with kids like you need to keep a variety of things because they definitely get bored faster and going planning to go for hours at a time is probably not always the best bet so I have found with our family, like if we just plan like, okay, like two hour chunks and maybe it's less than that, depending on how old your kids are and how often you need to stop. But usually I feel like every two hours we need to do a bathroom break anyways and get up and stretch our legs. Um, so, so definitely consider that, that any time, <laughs> like don't plan like if it's an eight hour trip, you know, it's at eight hours. Like I would add a couple hours onto that to just not make it make yourself crazy thinking you're going to get there faster than you will. Cause it's not like the old days when maybe you just decided to go for hours at a time and you could just drive. So kids definitely need more breaks. Um, so one of the things that we always do is like get them some sort of treat and this time, like either a toy or like workbooks or something that they can do in the car. Uh, and this time we waited till we were like in the middle of the road trip. Cause I didn't have time actually truth mom truth right there that I didn't have time to go before we left so we stopped at a store and they got to pick something out which was fun and definitely helped keep them entertained uh, one of the other things is we don't typically our kids don't use tablets or our iPads or things like that but on road trips we'll let them watch movies so I I did download a couple movies on my iPad and played games on there so finding like different games that you think are fun or educational because even if you know, especially if it's something they don't typically do can definitely help with that. Uh, and like a friend of mine was saying, she, you know, her daughter doesn't usually get soda, but she gets car sick. So usually when she's adult diapers for everybody, <laughs> thanks Jackie, that's hysterical. But what do you do about like getting up and stretching your legs? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, adult diapers. I wish that was, that would make it <laughs> easier for my kids. Um, but um, so the other thing, yeah, so she, her child gets to have soda when they're on road trips because she tends to get um, car sick and stuff like that. So that's always a treat and is special for her. Uh, also, um, doing audiobooks can be fun. I mean, you can always get those car yoga. Jackie's saying she's done car yoga. So I feel like I need to check that out. Um, but getting audiobooks, uh, and you can even. Gets, rent some from the library. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that, but you can even do um, uh, movies and stuff like that too. So check out the library with that. Or if you have Aud Audible, which I do for work and stuff. And so I downloaded a couple aud audio books. And there's also some podcasts out there. One of my friends told me about, it's called Story Podcasts. And so some of them are really short, like 10 to 15 minutes, but I did find like a longer one, which was about 45 minutes and seemed to um, keep all of our interests. So that was a lot of fun because then they did like the different voices for the characters and stuff. So that was called story podcast. So that was pretty fun. Um, what are some of my other tips? Or if you leave, like I was trying to talk to my husband, like, Hey, if we keep our kids up late and then we leave really early, like maybe they'll sleep in the car some. So I don't know that he's willing to try that on our way home, but I'm still thinking um, <laughs> it might be worth a shot or we'll have a totally miserable trip. Um, but sometimes if you leave later or leave really early, depending on your child, like it can make it make the trip a little bit um, better. But you know your kids and your family and what works best for you. So I would definitely take that into account. Uh, and then also like keeping a change of clothes handy instead of just in your suitcase so you don't have to unload everything. Like if for whatever, there's an accident or something, or you need to change at some point, is just keeping a, like a, a small bag of, um, of clothes so you're not digging through everything. Uh, oh, and so I think when I, I mentioned earlier about taking like, um, making breaks like every two hours, and 
usually you stop at a gas station or maybe a rest stop, which we stopped at one and it was so disgusting. Like I was like, it was just like just a small upgrade from a porta potty. So I was like, no, there's no way <laughs> we're using that. We're going to have to go the extra 50 miles to the next one. Cause it was so disgusting. But anyways, if you, um, like, of course, like at McDonald's, those always have like the indoor playground. So if it's too hot to stop at a park or even going to like Ikea or something, because they have if there's one nearby, like they have the little play area. And then they also have like a restaurant or even like going to like Home Depot or something where the kids kind of kind of look around or and check things out. And I don't know what a Cracker Barrel barrel is, but someone told me that was like a good place to stop, too. Um, so just, you know, finding kind of maybe some alternative type of road stops that you might not necessarily think of uh and then what was my other idea for y'all uh (laughs) yeah so I think that's um I guess that's it uh oh there's an, an app I did try oh yeah this is my this is my last idea so it's called road trippers and it will actually it's an app you can get and you can do either like I think they have a month freebie and then you can um buy it by a month or three months or whatever, but it shows you like all the restaurant parks and any unique things to do like on your route, like you'll put like wherever you're going. So that's a cool thing. And then I also realized, and I don't know how long this has been a thing, but like Google Maps has where you can like see where the restaurants are or, you know, gas stations and stuff like that. But the other thing I started to do on this road trip is we went through, um, oh gosh, I'm not going to forget what it was. Um, I want to call it the salt fields. That's not it. But we were driving through Utah and it's like, um, oh my gosh, I'm totally going to forget what the name of it is because I'm on vacation brain right now. But anyways, so I just started Googling like signs that we would see and then like sharing like the history or whatever it said on Wikipedia or something like that and find out information about it to talk with the kids about. So that was, that was kind of fun to do. And then also just, you know, finding other apps and stuff like educational things. So do things that maybe you wouldn't normally get to do or your kids wouldn't normally get to have. It kind of keeps them entertained. And I do have a blog on um, that I'll post below too of just things to do with even smaller kids when you travel. But anyways, those are my my recent (laughs) road tripping survival guide. And we'll see if I have any updates on our way back um, in a few days. And hopefully um, it goes much smoother. (laughs) And maybe we have less stops. So, oh, the scavenger hunts of stuff you might see. Okay. Jackie's full of good ideas. So, yeah, I'll have to, maybe I'll have to put something together. That'll be fun. So, anyways, I hope you all are having a great week. And if you have any vacations planned, if you have any great tips, would love for you to share them with us. And um, look forward to seeing you all again soon. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye.